Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in this video I'm going to do a full walkthrough on how to build your own audit app. So a couple of things I want to uh, tell you. Um, in this section, just this video, I'm going to demonstrate the app itself. So you guys can take a look at it to see if this is something that you're looking for or close to what you need and that way you can you know, watch the entire video. Um, if you do need the entire video, down in the description over there, there's a link. Uh, that link takes you to my friends uh, Velo and their website over there. And over there you'll see my secondary blog, which is in detail. And I've got screenshots and everything over there. Uh, but you know, if you just wanna see and uh, get an idea of what this demo app is all about, then this is the video for you. All right, so let's actually take a look at uh, the agenda for this video. Um, so one of the things I'm gonna do is, um, first I'll full do the full demo app like I talked about. Um, also I'm gonna give a breakdown of the app. So what exactly is the app? How many screens there are? how many galleries, controls, that's basically what I'm gonna talk about over here. Um, I'm also gonna do the breakdown of the SQL tables. Now let me pause over here. Um, I use SQL, SQL tables because uh, that was just a great way for me to demonstrate it to you. Uh, you guys can use CDS over there as well uh, if you need that because it's pretty much the same um, and it's just your preference. Um, so that's one thing over there. Um, I'll also talk about how I'm saving the data because it's gonna be data coming in from almost three different locations and that's something I'll spend a little bit more time on. And then finally, adding the finishing touches. Um, and you'll exactly see what I talked about finishing touches over there. Um, so now that you've seen the overview, let me jump to the first piece, which is actually demonstrating the app. All right, so I'm gonna start from this and I'm going to go and show you the app itself. Uh, so I'm gonna run the app and here's what it is. It's a very simple audit app. Um, by default, the auditor name, uh, email address, uh, immediately comes in over here. Uh, and also in the back end, I'm catching the created date um, and so that, that by default comes in over here. Uh, some of you may already know that I've gone ahead and used the user function for that. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the department and let's say I'm picking medical. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling all this information because it is basically me filling an app. So the first thing is I'm not writing any required shoes. I think I'm gonna say pass. Uh, and just to make it easier, um, anytime I fail, I'm gonna put in an image over there. That way you guys can actually see what's going on. Uh, so I'm going to say no easy tools to access. So I'm going to say yes, it failed. Uh, the tools were too far away from reach or from easy access. All right, and then I'm going to just catch an image. Um, I'll sporadically pick some image. I'm just not sure. Let's just say put in that image over here. All right, so that tool was not easy to access. Uh, let me, and as you can see over here, there's now a highlight which kind of shows you right off the bat that hey, the, that was the place where Daniel put in some image and that's also giving a count of the total number of images I've had which is basically a count or a sum over here. All right, blocked electrical, paxes, uh, electrical panels to, uh, you know, it's passed over there, shared equipment is within close distance, well it's again, fail. Um, the tools are out of reach. Let me see if I can actually get us a um, easier way to work with. Uh, file location, images. All right. So right here, I'm gonna put in the link and I'm gonna say, yeah, the, the tools are too far away. Put that over there. Uh, part container is not able, now that's passed. Cleaning area is dirty and I'll, yep, I'll do. Um, uh, the area needs a little TLC for tender loving care. Add that again, some images over here. And in fact, I'll go ahead and add a few more images for whatever reason. And then space is not zoned. I'll go ahead and put in pass over there. All right, so I've done all that. Now I'm hitting submit. And now as you can see, I went and added this little nice line, um, you know, showing that actually the, uh, the uh, item is getting saved over there and the data is actually getting saved. Now, a um, couple of things I wanna show you over here. Um, it went ahead and reset it back so that the next person can go ahead and fill that in or the person can fill in the same uh, or do the audit twice. In addition, when I come over here, I can see uh, all that I've already filled in. It's just an easier way to access that. Um, and right here, this was pulls in all my information. 
But now I'm able to also see uh, which of them already have the information. So let's just say, uh, you know, like I showed in the demo, uh, any of the ones which actually had um, some failures, I went ahead and put in um, the description and then I also went ahead and put in the images. So if I click on this one, you can see that the image shows up over here. If I go ahead and click on the other one, the image shows up. If I don't do anything, the image doesn't show up. So as you can see, um, in here there were two images, the so two of them showed up. So basically that's how the audit app is working. Um, but what I want to do is just to show you one more demo. Uh, let me add another entry. This one, they will be power feeder. Um, yep, uh, forgot to wear proper shoes. And I do have an image for that, so let me say, that is what the person was wearing. Uh, easy access to the tool was passed. Uh, blocked electrical panel was passed. I'll go ahead and add actually an image of what that electrical panel looks like. Over there, return. Um, shared equipment is within closed. Okay, pass. Parts contained, pass. Failure. I have an image for that. And then everything will also be pass, right? going ahead and saving it and now when I go back over here you can now see that there's two of these instances um, this is 49 which was the first one I did the 50 over here and over here as you can see um, I intentionally only added one uh, comment over here because that just shows that one over here but it also shows image counts so what's key over here is uh, when I click on it it's only filtering it down to the image that I selected for this answer is tied to this survey over here. That's key because there's relationships that I'm going to build in the tables and that is going to be a very critical piece over here because I'm going to take information and put them in specific, very strategic places to build these relationships. And I'll be spending some time on that as well. Um, and then, you know, any of these places where there's uh, an image, the image shows up. If there's uh, no image, well, then there's no image over there. So hopefully you got an idea of what this app is all about. Um, it's very easy looking simple app but it actually took a little bit of you know thinking outside the box to put all this information in over here and then to build the relationships in the back end um, so i'm going to walk you through all of that um, and if you're interested click on the link below and uh, that will directly take you to uh, uh, the next video which is deep dive and i hope to see you there thanks